And I asked my Muslim friends when I heard this, and I said, how many of you have even dealt with the slavery issue? And I said, when you look at your Quran, what does your Quran say about slavery? See, the Quran is very clear about slavery. It says clearly that that which your right hand possesseth, in Surah 4, Ayah 24, that which your right hand possesseth, you can take as many of those which your right hand possesseth. These are women who are, who are basically caught in warfare. These are prisoners of war. And there's reference after reference that you can read about those which your right hand possesseth. It doesn't even say any admonition against slavery. The Quran is very much for slavery. When you come to the Bible, you need to ask, in Galatians 3, 28, it's very clear that there is no difference between man or woman, slave or free, Greek or Gentile, they are all equal in Christ Jesus. Slave or free are all equal in Christ Jesus. In Philemon, verse 16, Paul has a slave that had run away from his master, sends him back to Philemon, and it's interesting, he sends him back, but look what he says in verse 16. He who has once your slave is now your brother. He redefines the whole relationship of one of master to slave and makes him brother in Christ. And that's a beautiful example of what Paul was doing there in the first century. Standing against the social mores of his day and yet saying that this is an entirely new relationship and that you see is unique to the New Testament, unique to the gospel of Jesus Christ.